welcome back to my channel I'm very happy for whoever is watching because since I stopped doing daily vlogs I feel like I miss uh, YouTube and I have a lot to share so in this particular video uh, we are back in London and I'm gonna guide you through my wardrobe and what I took for this short trip so basically uh, we arrived on Thursday and today is Monday so uh, here four days we're staying at the Holiday Inn Express um, this hotel was a choice because uh, we wanted to be closer to where all the family activities are otherwise we probably would have stayed somewhere nicer because <clears throat> to be honest um, Holiday Inn Express wasn't very um, impressive. Nevertheless, not about that. The point of this trip, London trip, was to visit family, friends and to do some touristy stuff that we wanted to do for a while. Therefore, in this video, apart from showing you what I packed for my short trip to London, I also will be showing you and sharing with you some things that we did uh, Dominic and I some touristy stuff. So let's start with the first day in London. First day in London was very touristy for us. Uh, we decided that we wanted to go to places that we wanted to visit for a while and number one on Dominic's list was British Museum. So we uh, got up, had our breakfast and headed to uh, downtown London to go to the museum. However, if you have never been to London, you have to know a few things about it. First, the weather is very, very, very tricky. We checked the forecast, um, supposedly 14 degrees Celsius. However, on that particular day we arrived, it was freezing. I mean, not zero degrees, but it was very cold. That's why you have to know uh, what to pack. Second thing, it might rain any time. So consider now is November and you have to be prepared that it might rain, it will be cold and you have to be ready for the fact that it might be hot as well. So today I'm actually wearing a dress. Yes, I'm outside, but if I'll have to go out, I'll just pop the jacket. So let's start from the first day, British Museum. I wore, because I wanted to make sure that I'm not going to be cold, I'm not caught in the rain, I wore my favorite raincoat. You saw it already before. Raincoats are super important for London. Just pack it. And remember, this one comes with its own little bag. So if I'm running around London and it's raining, I take my raincoat out of the pocket and here you are, protected against the rain. always always take my jeans with me because you know jeans are important so for that particular look you saw uh, raincoat jeans and I also um, always put f things for layering so I like to have my uh, sweaters my pullover so this is a turtleneck cashmere and if you're here if you're only traveling for a few days you have to know that in order for cashmere jumpers to stay more fresh, you have to layer it with something under. So the ideal would be to layer it with a shirt, with a collar. So this part basically, um, it might be humid, it might be cold, so all of this changes. Make your uh, body change as well. And therefore just be careful because of the difference being outside as to get in inside, um, the temperature drops and so on. So basically, layer. Every time you go to travel to London, England, make sure layering is key here. So that was my British Museum look. Jeans, uh, pullover, cashmere pullover um, with a turtleneck 
and shirt for Lena underneath and my very important raincoat. After British Museum we went to Liberty, this beautiful store in London, it was very pretty and I felt cozy as well because you know um, it was a little bit of a gloomy day uh, however because I was dressed in colors I felt quite festive as well. evening we went out of course uh, it's amazing to be in London and we wanted to go out with our friends we wanted to go somewhere fancy because I love dressing up um, once again dressing up in London um, it might be different to what you're used to depending what's your style and what kind of places you go out uh, just to give you an idea what kind of places I like to go when I'm in London so it's my favorite club so far it's called the Ned it's in poultry uh, Poultry Street in London, London Bank. So I just love that place. You absolutely, next time you're in London, please come check it out. It's a little bit difficult to get to Ned without reservations. However, make sure if your friends reserve and you guys are gonna go out, you're gonna have an amazing time. So Ned is a quite special place in terms of dressing up. Um, you would not, um, I mean, the best way to dress up for Ned is probably for gentlemen to wear a suit and for ladies obviously a dress or a skirt. I went for a different look this time. I've got my skirt. It's a beautiful skirt and I'm not sure you can see. It's sort of like um, textured, a little bit transparent and it looks very festive and um, I think it looks very chic. And I wore this skirt with these knee boots. Uh, the boots also have a detail similar to the skirt. It shows very nicely on the camera so you can see. And I thought this together matches very well. It gives a sophistication. Now what I wear on top, as you will see, I wore my um, favorite turtleneck cashmere thing. Actually it's not even mine. It used to be Dominic's but um, I'm such a good girlfriend, I washed it on a high temperature and it shrank. So now I have a cashmere turtleneck. Basically this was the look. I also wore a shirt underneath with a collar because I don't want to be a little bit sweaty. And uh, you know, you don't want, if you, if you wear cashmere shirts without something underneath, the chances are is that you're only gonna wear it once on the occasion then it will have to go to the wash because cashmere attracts a lot of smells. So that was my look for the net and I loved it and I received a lot of compliments just how the skirt matches uh, the boots and so on. Actually, the main event why we came to London it was a family birthday and it was um, it was held in a pub but it's a pub restaurant so English style never know what to wear to those places either but I decided for going uh, smart casual and 
I pulled out this suit. It was really good um, option because it's got these beautiful smart trousers. The fabric is very nice, and the fa even though it's a suit, altogether it can look casual and smart depending uh, depending how you wear it. It's from the make called Lujo jeans. So basically, I styled this suit once again with a cashmere jumper, and I took my raincoat, and I found this look pretty cool. Also wore it with my heels. So once again, oops, there you can see I stepped in the cake. <laughs> Dressing up for London, if you're going for, uh, like I say, a birthday occasion and you know that you're going to a pub, dressing up for pubs could be tricky, but in London people actually make an effort to look good. So it's always a good idea to have a suit uh, with you that you can style. You can dress it up by putting a nice shirt and make it look more casual with a little cashmere turtleneck or just a turtleneck. And last few items that I wanted to point out that I must have for London, especially in November. Uh, coat, long cashmere coat, just something long. Guys, uh, this coat always helps me out. I just love it the way it is. It's long, you can see that it's very long coat and over the dress already and voila. So you'll be protected, you'll be warm and I think this was a very good option to bring. Next time I'm coming to London I'm gonna bring this coat again One, and it's timeless piece. You see this very nice grey fabric, soft and warm at the same time and long. The most important, if you are protected from your back you'll be fine. Last few things I wanted to point out for those who never know what to wear in London because of the weather. Gotta make sure you have your waistcoat, waistcoat is very important, and a scarf. So in this case I, got, I went for a nice woolen scarf. If you are looking for scarves, always try to look for natural materials like cashmere or pashmina or wool. It will keep you warm and will not irritate your skin. What else did I want to mention about my London style? Yeah, I obviously overpacked a little bit, but who doesn't? I brought lots of things that I didn't wear. I didn't wear these lovely uh, cashmere track pants. I didn't wear out this dress, I'm just wearing it now with you. I also, what was useful, a pair of loafers. A pair of loafers is super nice for London. You just slip them on and you're good to go. lovely and sunny in London. How, aren't we lucky? It's Sunday. Which day it is today? Mm, 10th? No, wait, I have my watch. 11th of November. Sunny, a little bit windy, hence the scarf. 
and this nice cashmere coat but hey we're lucky we're going to the pub come along But I think maybe if we would have stayed a few more days, I would definitely would have worn my just regular black blazer with nice uh, tailor detail and buttons here. Voila! So that was it for my London video, London vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching things that we did and a little bit of friendly happiness and sharing um, emotions for the birthday and going out and uh, going to do touristy stuff like British Museum. Um, please subscribe if you are interested in the content. I know it's not something super professional, it's just me being myself and sharing things with you guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments for me, please uh, comment below. I'm on Instagram if you're interested for of more uh, daily updates from me. Check out I'm at Swiss Maya on Instagram. I have my pages on Facebook so we can communicate. And uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you liked, what you didn't like. Please don't be mean in the comments. <laughs> I see on YouTube space there is a lot of uh, uh, nasty things going on with uh, people commenting bad stuff. So just to let you know if something, somebody goes like uh, really rude or anything, I just probably will block them. Because uh, people who watch my channels, I have viewers as young as three year old and I have viewers that are slightly a mature generation. That's why I'm trying not to swear or do anything like that. So that's about it. That was our quick trip to London. Weekend full of memories and now we have to go. And I have about 10 minutes to quickly pack my suitcase. All right guys, see you next week, hopefully.